Jeremy Pruitt, Alabama. No defense has created more havoc for opposing offenses this season than Jeremy Pruitt's Alabama D. The tie D has been historically good. The numbers, incredible. They've allowed under 70 yards a game rushing, and opponents are averaging just over 11 points a game. They don't have a weakness. Their national rankings, number one against the run, number two against the pass, and number one in total defense. And Pruitt's D specializes in game-changing plays. They average almost four sacks a game, and Alabama leads the nation in defensive touchdowns. Alabama defenders have scored 10 touchdowns this season. The most impressive stat for Jeremy Pruitt's Alabama D, they started something new this season. No touchdown November. They went 42 days the heart of the season without allowing a touchdown. Today, the Burles Award honors the coach of the nation's most complete defense, Jeremy Pruitt of Alabama. You know, Mark, we uh, we put in a new drill this this past spring. It, teaching them how to score touchdowns on defense. No. Yeah, uh, seriously. Before I forget, all right, my wife was out of the room. <laughs> so you know you missed your time, but you're out of the room. Uh, the last time I was here, we were engaged. So we're not on 40 years yet, Don. We're on three. We're working on 40, and I hope we get there. But Casey, would you stand up? Now, she knew what she was getting into before we got married. Uh, she, she was actually a compliance officer, so that kind of helped in recruiting a little bit, kind of helped on the rules there. Uh, but uh, she's made me a better coach, a better person, and uh, makes my job real easy. I just want to uh, say that I'm, I'm honored to be here representing the University of Alabama. Uh, we were talking about dream jobs this morning, and for me, growing up in Rainsville, Alabama, most of you hadn't heard of it, but... It's up on Sand Mountain, and, and having the opportunity to coach at the University of Alabama is a dream come true for me. This is my second stint there. I was there six years with uh, Coach Saban uh, before, and then I left, and I'm back again. Uh, but it's, it's an honor to represent the university, Coach Saban, uh, and the football program and administration there. You know, when I, when I got in this morning, y'all heard I got in at 2.30, I, I sent one of our uh, sports information guys. I said, hey, I need you to give me a few talking points. I actually thought it was seven to ten minutes, David. Uh, so anyhow, he sent me one, so I'm looking at it, and I'm like, this is not me at all. You know, I'm, I'm kind of one of these guys that just kind of bring it from the heart a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. I threw that out, and here I go. Um, but um, just want to say thank you to the, um, the Broyles Award for recognizing assistant coaches. Um, Betsy and Molly, thank you for taking care of Casey and, and my absence last night. Um, Lincoln, thank you for uh, taking my spot there at the table. Um, but just to be a part, I'm happy to be a part of, of um, the event that's raising money for the Burles Foundation. It's, it's really a special event. Uh, when I was walking through the deal, and, and we do this at, at Alabama, we have what we call the Walk of Champions. Um, and it, it basically, they've put in, um, in the cement there as you walk through the crowds gathering up and you – they got every name listed of every player that was on the championship team uh, and every coach. And so one of the things that we do, some of us former coaches, when we walk through, I always like, that's a big honor to me because I see my name on that deal. Well, I was walking through here, and I, I looked, and I saw and I saw uh, Mickey Andrews when I first walked in. And my time at Florida State, um, you know, Florida State was playing great defense long before I was ever born. Coach Andrews, he, he you're talking about bringing the pressure, he could do it. Um, but it, it was a real honor for me that every week he would come in on a Friday and just sit and talk. And just, uh, just the respect that I had for him and the time that I got to spend with him uh, really meant a lot to me. You know, I saw David Cutcliffe. I actually saw him last night. Um, I know he don't remember this, but 1998, I was a, excuse me, 1999, I was a graduate assistant at West Alabama, University of West Alabama in Livingston, Alabama. Um, I, I don't even think I had a degree yet. I was still working on it, and they're letting me coach, so I don't know what I was making. I guess they are giving me a room and board. Uh, <laughs> but anyhow, Coach Cutcliffe, he was, he was the head coach at, at Ole Miss. Um, he was coming to speak 
uh, to raise money or whatever for Bobby Johns. Bobby Johns was the head football coach. They were friends. So when the, the event was over with, and there was about 45 people in there, and it, it, it really was more like a Western sizzling deal, but Coach Johns gave me the opportunity to drive Coach Cutcliffe back to the airport. Um, and, and so last night I'm at the Nagurski Award, and he's the keynote speaker. So I'm thinking about that. You know, it's 1999. I'll never forget. I got two hands on the wheel. I'm driving. I got the head football coach at Ole Miss, and, and we're riding out there, and, and we start talking because he was an, an Alabama graduate, and we knew some of the same people. But just how this sport's kind of unique and how it brings people together, um, it's really exposed me to a lot of people. I couldn't go in and name all the great coaches that I've had a chance to be around. I'm going to try to name a few. Um, starting with the head football coach I played for at Alabama, Gene Stylins. I saw him the other night before our game. He was an honorary captain. We sat down and talked and um, really enjoyed it. Boots Dunley, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but I originally went to Middle Tennessee for two years, and Boots was as tough as they come. Um, you know, um, Jimbo Fisher, he gave me the first opportunity to be a coordinator. Uh, Mark Rick, uh, worked for him for two years, and, and – you know, one big thing with Coach Rick is just how to be a husband. You know, just how to be a husband. And I, he always told me, he said, Jeremy, uh, when it's Christmas, do it two weeks earlier. When it's, when it's birthdays, do it three weeks earlier. He said, it don't matter what you get them, if you'll do it two or three weeks earlier, all right, they'll appreciate it a lot more. So I've been, I've been practicing that. <laughs> um, you know, um, Coach Saban, you know, he gave me an opportunity. I was a high school coach. A lot of people don't don't realize this, my, I was telling these guys up here, my first job, I was a K through third grade PE teacher. You got to understand this. You know, my, my father is still a high school football coach. That's what he did. And, and, and unlike a lot of people, I knew from the time that I could re probably walk, that's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be just like my dad. I saw what a positive impact that he had on the people in our community. He was a head football coach at where I went to school, I think 31 or 32 years, he was the quarterback there. I was a quarterback. My brother was. My, my oldest son was. Uh, so it was a very unique uh, community. But I, I saw what an impact him and my mom had, and that's what I wanted to do. So I never thought about um, being up for the Brawls Award or coaching at Alabama. You know, I just wanted, I wanted to coach young people and, and have a positive impact on them. So my first job, I was a K through third grade PE teacher. I'd done it for three years. I've uh, done that from 8.30 in the morning till 2.30 in the afternoon. Then I go over to the high school and I coach ball. And I'm going to tell you something that's unique about that. I come back to the University of Alabama. Uh, I think it's December the 12th or 15th sometime this past year. And I walk into the building. And I walk in there and this young lady, she walks up and she says, Hey, Coach Pruitt, how you doing? I'm like, I'm doing fine. How are you? She's like, you don't remember me? I said, no, ma'am. She said, she tells me her name. I taught her in kindergarten. <laughs> so she's changed a little bit. All right. <laughs> I go down. They have the first practice. First practice, I guess they're getting ready for bowl practice or, or whatever. And um, one of the managers comes up, which I recognized him. And, and I taught him elementary PE. Well, then the trainers come out. There's another one. So there's three students that I had, K through third grade, that, I'm, that are there in our program right now. So that's it, kind of unique. It's, it's funny how you, you have a chance, maybe you don't even realize it, maybe to touch people along the way. And a lot of people have touched me along the way. Uh, obviously, we wouldn't be standing up here if we didn't have success. Um, and I can't say enough about the guys that I have an opportunity to coach. Uh, <clears throat> I may get emotional here. When you talk about being a man, I'm coaching some men. I can tell you that right now. Um, and the fire and the passion that they have for the University of Alabama. <clears throat> excuse me. means a lot to me because that's where I'm from. Uh, that's where I played. Didn't play a whole lot. But the opportunity to coach these guys and what they bring and what they stand for, uh, that's what we do it for. It's not for us. You know, I got in this business to have a positive impact on people. Um, not to stand up here and get an award and things like that. Or, but it's, it's, it's an honor to be here.
but it's about the kids, and it will always be, be about the kids. You know, I hear people talking about the kids have changed. I don't believe that. I do not believe the kids have changed. I believe the coaches have changed. Uh, kids love discipline, um, and the guys at our place, we, you know, we tell them on the recruiting trail, uh, Alabama is not, it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. All right, we're going to define your role. We're going to hold you accountable. Um, and if you don't do it the right way, we're going to confront you. And our kids buy into it. Um, and, and that's a tribute to Coach Saban and, and implementing that program when he came there in 2007. And I'm just proud that I could, I could contribute a small part into it. Um, I know my time's probably up. But I just want to again thank uh, David and, and um, Molly and Betsy for allowing me to be here. Um, and thank y'all.